All right, y'all, for today's review, we have the 8.5 foot tall Micro Lights Air Balloon Inflatable Fire and Ice Flaming Reaper. Now, this is being sold on Yard Inflatables currently for $115. I would say for all the Halloween inflatables that came in in that 2022 shipment, those prices could easily go up any day. If you're interested in any one of those items, I recommend buying it now. That's why I'm going to get the NBC Fountain definitely this week um, so Jake can do the custom for me. The owner of Yard Inflatables tends to hike up those prices uh, as they sell. So just a little pro tip there get these as soon as possible i wasn't actually going to get this with the female phantom i was going to wait a little while but when lucas reminded me of that i was like you know what i'm gonna order it now so here we are this is the fire and ice flaming reaper that was revealed uh, quite some time ago this is one of the early 2022 reveals it's really really cool i like it a lot I'm not the biggest fan of micro lights. I think it's kind of stupid compared to like light sync and all that stuff. This I think kind of falls short, but the inflatable overall, like this design looks absolutely amazing. And with the Reaper face, very detailed, you have the kaleidoscope. I do like kaleidoscopes. And then of course those wonderful red eyes for the bat. And then the micro lights is outlining the RIP of the tombstone. You can see here the new air blown inflatable featuring micro lights. They're pretty proud of themselves with that. I think it's going to look good. I have nothing against micro lights. I just don't think they are, you know, they're not all that. The box is pretty cool. I like the fact that they are highlighting it. I like the purple a lot. We'll take a look at the back a little bit. You can see 8.5 feet. 2022 jimmy industries right there pretty much it for the box um yeah so let's go ahead and open it up so as we take a look inside we will be able to find the instructions right here our steak pack which is inside the bag this time and appears to be attached to the tag on the cord but as you can see four plastic stakes right there and then of course your crappy metal stakes by the looks of it from the fan i'm thinking yef 80 i thought it was going to be yef 80 before and now i believe that this is the official confirmation based off the shaping of the fan with the smaller disc underneath i guess to prevent from like leaves getting in or anything like that so just like the female ghost at around this point in any review, it seems like this is a good time to change pace in terms of lighting and just overall setting. And because they are doing the engraving, uh, it's so much harder to see. You know what, I'm gonna use the lamp light so we can get a really good look at it. I'll try to zoom in, maybe that'll do it. YEF, is that a 60? That is a freaking 60. Are you kidding me? That's total crap. You've got a freaking kaleidoscope and you can't bother. Shit, sorry. You can't bother to put in an 80. It's got to hold the weight, man. Very disappointed. I thought for sure this was going to have an 80. I'm not going to replace it. I mean, if I do replace it, I never get around to replacing fans. Y'all should probably know this. I've said, oh yeah, I'm going to replace the fan and I never do. So I, I fear this is going to be one of those situations. I just hope it inflates up to snuff. So... We'll go ahead and put that to the test right now. So since it can't be staked down for obvious reasons, we're just going to do an onboard inflation real quick. And it goes up pretty fast for YF60. I'm decently impressed. But the thing is, when it inflates, which you'll obviously see momentarily, it inflates also how you would think a YF60 would keep this inflatable inflated. It needs an 80. God, does it need an 80. Sorry about that. All right, so. Now that it's situated, as you can see, I think it looks really good. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like that this thing could be debated, whether it's not your style. I don't know. I like it. I think it's great. I'm pleased with it. For 115, I think it's a good price. But as you notice, the bat, see all these crinkle marks right there with the YF80? Not to say that they wouldn't be there, but there might be less of them. When you press in on it, it's decent. You know, I think it inflates relatively tight. But then again, YF80, I believe, this is my personal opinion, and I'm sure most of you will agree with me. I think YF80 needs to be the bare minimum for inflatables. YF60 should no longer exist. And I guess everything else is cheap fans. But YF80, I believe, should be the weakest cheap fan all the way up to YF200 or like the AH4 and all that crap. And the inflatable is really cool. I have to applaud this bat detailing the graphic designer knocked it out of the park that thing is menacing as hell it looks great the red led eyes wonderful the rip 
So the micro lights are outlining that and they blink off and on. Personally, I don't think they need to blink off and on. I think it'd be even cooler if we could like light it up super fast kind of around it. So like one would turn on at each time, but it would go by like super fast. I think that would be really cool. It would cost some money, but I would pay it because that's really cool. The off and on, eh, it's whatever. I don't, I think it would be fine if it was just a steady burn. Now the arms are... I don't know, I think this is probably the worst part of the inflatable. Then again, it's not really an issue. It just looks a little, I don't know, weird with the arms just draped around the tombstone like that. I think that's probably where this inflatable has its flaw, is the shaping of the arms wrapped around that tombstone. The tether loops are located right here. So as you can see, the reaper and the tombstone kind of become one right behind the bat. The wings do cover that pretty perfectly, so. That's good. You can see there's some creepy cloth right around the neck as well as behind the arms. So right there. And you can see there's a second zipper to access the micro LEDs. And then of course the zipper by the fan. You have your kaleidoscope up top. Now, as far as where to, sorry, it's kind of leaning a little bit. Now, as far as where do you want to display this? Uh, what inflatables do you want to have it with? I would recommend I mean, obviously a graveyard is like the number one thing. I'm going to do something a little different. I think that this would look great if you had another one with it. It's eight and a half feet tall. I would say it's pretty much every bit of eight and a half feet. The only reason why I wouldn't have it in a graveyard is because yes, the pumpkin face is really detailed and all that, but it's smiling. If this was a scarier face, by all means, I would put it in the graveyard with like the female phantom. Uh, and stuff like that. It bothers me a little bit because the bat was such a banger, but when we go up here, it's kind of like, and eh, we lose that consistency a little bit. If the inflatable was consistent all the way through, I would say absolutely go for it. It would also be considered a very, very scary inflatable. But I think because of the happy, joyous kind of look in his face, it kind of wrecks that. So I still like it, but I think it'd be really cool if you could do like a, not archway, but basically have these as almost like gargoyles or whatever you know kind of like an entrance to somewhere this would probably be for an entrance i i'm still brainstorming all this but i'm just giving you my rough thoughts that's what i'm doing is you just have this there and then you have another one and you can walk through it i think that's really cool it looks good it will catch a lot of people's attention with a kaleidoscope micro led and the led eyes i think that's great funny enough if you look up at the top you can see some dirt it almost looks like a footprint and that definitely did not happen because I'm wearing socks. Please do not mind my uh, sock tan. That's it's it's been it's been rough. I'll just say that. So I guess that happened in the factory or something like that. The back really is not interesting, um, but that's I think it for the inflatable. I've kind of given you just my thorough rundown of it for 115. Like I said, I think that's a good price. If you're into this inflatable. I totally see why. If you're not, I kind of see why. I thought there would be more people interested in it. I was kind of surprised by some of those who were just like, no, it's not my taste. And you know, I mean, I respect that, uh, but I like it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the 8.5 foot fire and ice flaming reaper tombstone with bat, whatever you want to call it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next review. Peace out. Bye.